21 red, not 30. All right, these are about an inch wide. These and about 20 inches long. Y'all, one of our really good friends uh, is an attorney and she's been covering uh, the Johnny Depp case and she's hit some huge milestones lately. So we made this for her and I need to finish it so I can get it shipped out. And I just randomly saw these scraps of fabric laying around. And I thought, you know what? Let's try to make a little baby rag bow and see what that looks like on here. All right, so we had a lot of the red and white. They are 20 inches. Let's do about four and a half inches on a tail. You know what? We may make this into a half bow, rag bow. That way they're not too small. Because I really want about a four or five inch loop. Do I still make wreaths? Almost every day. All right, let's throw in some of our blue and white. Yeah, the other day Emily had like a hundred and something thousand people watching her videos. How crazy is that, y'all? Like, can you imagine a hundred thousand people on the live trying to watch with you? The sound doesn't change when the zoom changes. So I'm not sure what to tell you. Carol, I am still working. And then I have a wreath I have to make after this. Y'all, I'm actually gonna steal one of the pieces from the very bottom back out, and I'm gonna use that to tie it off. Emily Baker is awesome. All right, that did not go as planned. So I'm gonna zip tie it first. 
I want it to be much tighter than it was going to be with uh, What are we making? We're gonna make uh, this door hanger real fast and then we're gonna make a wreath. All right, now I can take this and fold it so it's much tighter to cover that. All right, much better. Y'all, now I'm just gonna fluff this out. Y'all, this is just a little rag bow. Uh, it's fabric from, I think, early last year that is still starched from that project. All right, need a hanger on it real quick. We need to sold two wreaths today, awesome. All right, fold it, fold it. Casey got her June subscription box today and it's not even June yet, what the heck? Am I making a refab bow? No, I'm making a uh, baby rag bow. If you're in the creative coaching group, we have a full tutorial on the whole rainbow process. If you're interested, just go check it out there. All right, uh-oh, I didn't even turn on my stapler. Elizabeth, you don't. I just need to have time to ship it. And I have not done that yet. You want this door hanger bag? Um, this one is already sold. Y'all, this greenery I got from Michael's today. You place your first order on Friday. Awesome. Uh, it'll probably ship out Monday if I had to guess. The team's pretty caught up on orders. Throw a 60919 in there. All 
right, let's get our rag bow attached right in here. No mail on Monday. The team will still pack it on Monday. So you'll have your tracking order Monday. Y'all, I'm just stapling directly through the fabric to the wood. All right, now I'm gonna take all of my little greenery pieces and pull them to the center. Fancy staple gun, yeah. All right, nice, simple, and easy. All right, let me shift that out. Now let's make a wreath. We have our first problem. Someone uh, snatched the reef frame. That was, oh, there's one on the floor right here. The suspension of the ribbon box from, oh, you're welcome. Y'all, we're just gonna grab this frame that's right down here. I wasn't sure you were alive or not. Why? Uh, I believe Parker has a wait list in the creative coaching group for 60919. And if you read that post, he's got all the instructions on what you need to do. Uh, Maggie, I'm not going to tell you that we can have door hangers to you by next Friday. That would be a lie. When am I planning on doing Monday for Memorial Day? Uh, we're gonna be working. What about you? So our uh, staff traded Mardi Gras for Memorial Day. So we will be in the office working. We're gonna ruffle our mesh here.
Rochelle, we're printing about uh, 200 door hangers a day. All right, give this a good pinch. We're gonna measure these out about 10 inches. You're a little late, but you're just on time for the wreath. Shannon, you'll have to ask that question where uh, the post talks about how to get on the wait list. I don't know anything about comments sold. Lynn, I had a good day. I worked this morning, then I ran out to uh, Michael's for some quick projects. Rosemary, I would do supplies times three. Why was your account closed? What account? We're doing 10 inch mesh all the way around the top. We do custom mats. We do have a listing for custom on Etsy, I believe. All right, got that all done. Gonna cut that off. All right, we've had ads during lives for about four years now. All right. So we've got our 10 inch poofs all the way around the center. Now we're gonna take our 10 inch mesh. This was 21 inch mesh and 10 inch poofs. What's up, Lori Toots? Lori, your friends convinced me that I needed fabric for a rag bow. You saw my pick at Michael's today. How far am I from Baton Rouge? Uh, about an hour and a half or so. Carrie's watching from Australia. We made a Halloween swag today. Awesome. Uh, the frame is 15 to 24 inches, I believe. What's the number of the yellow and black dash? I just tucked it in there. Um... R Y eight three one nine F four. All right, y'all, we're going to do this about twenty eight inches. We're going to need one 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got two, four, Eight, one more. Yeah, Rochelle, we starch it as well. But thanks for the advice. Should I be working on fall and Halloween? Now, Michelle, if you have our calendar, it'll tell you exactly what you should be doing right now. All right, so we're going to take it. We're going to curl in each end just a little bit. Then we're going to give it a good scrunch down the middle. And I'm going to add one of these all the way around the bottom. But Lori, I didn't have this fabric. Why is this mesh so tangly? The edges are like extra scratchy. It feels like somebody starched it. Has anyone used this mesh? It's like extra crispy. So it's a, uh, um, let's look. Thin stripe fabric mesh. How do you pre-order 60919? You just follow the instructions that are in the creative coaching group. Where can you find our calendar? Ian, both the creative and business coaching groups. Hey, Candace. What's up, friend? The fabric is way over there, Lori. You have some, you haven't used it yet? It's. Extra crispy. Can you cut that with a wood burner? I wouldn't. I have a thousand viewers, woohoo. Yeah, we usually have around 1,200 to 1,500. Yeah, buddy, we don't close accounts on Shopify. Uh, did you potentially change your email address? Betty, if you're that mad about entering your address, you should probably shop somewhere else. Uh, how are the termites tonight? I don't know. I came inside before it was dark this tonight.
You love the fabric mesh. This is a thin stripe fabric. So it's regular mesh and then string in between. Why would you say that? Because you came on here with an attitude wanting attention that I can't give you whenever you could reach out to customer service at info at daemonotes.com or just put in your address to get your shipment. I don't know. Like I can't troubleshoot that for you. And then you clearly said, if you had to do it again, you wouldn't shop there again. So don't. Uh, when should you cut your materials with a rotary versus a wood burner? Um, I only use a wood burner if I'm making the flower petals. And only if it's poly burlap. All right, so we did 10 inch poofs around the inside. Then we did 20 inch ruffles, 28 inch ruffles around the outside. All right, now we're gonna do about 18 inch ruffles for the center. Let's see how many we're going to need. Is there a reason I turn the ruffles upside down? Lisa, I just like the way they look better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y'all, we had one little runaway white ribbon. Y'all, I already addressed it. No reason for you to. Two. Four. Our eight. Uh, we've got plenty of mesh left over. Vicky is a first timer here. Welcome. Y'all, who else first time watching? Let us know. All right, look, I'm going to show you the opposite sides of the ruffles. So curl it in, curl it in, ruffle it. All right, so this side looks like a little bow tie. This side looks like a curl with uh, a ruffle on the bottom. Uh, Elizabeth, the app and the website are two different accounts. So the app is connected to Comments Sold, which is decoexchange.commentsold.com. It's how they do the live sales. Um, and then our regular website is decoexchange.com. Uh, they're supposed to copy each other, but you do have to register on each depending on where you're shopping. All right. So I prefer it to look like the curls with the bow tie on are the curls and the ruffle on top. That's why I turned mine upside down. Lisa Fleming Piazza. Are you related to the Piazzas that all work for me?
Monday is not a holiday at Deco Exchange. Our uh, company traded Memorial Day for uh, Mardi Gras. Sorry, I thought I was rude. Betty, I didn't think you were rude. You said, if I have to enter my address again, I'm just going to shop somewhere else. So I said, shop somewhere else. And we're moving on. You're related to the seafood piazzas? Uh, I'm pretty sure they are, too. Where's Kathleen tonight? I don't know. Maybe she had her own personal plans. How are you attaching your curls to the wreath form? Using the twist ties that are on it. Uh, your neighborhood's like a war zone tonight. Candace, they're popping fireworks there? your name was, but both Jessica and Destiny Piazza worked for us. I was uh, just at Coda's birthday party yesterday. You're outside city limits. Now, this town is full of uh, people who love fireworks, so I'm surprised they're not popping in here. All right, so we got our base done. Oh, no problem, Rosie. We did 10 inch poofs around the top. We did 28 inch ruffles around the bottom, 18 inch ruffles on the top. And that's our base. Let me see, y'all, I picked out this project like three weeks ago. So I don't even remember what I picked out. Looks like we're using a B. And I'd actually picked out this project for Jordan to do while he was here, but we never got to it. Throw a ribbon around. All right, let's get our little B taken care of. So the B has a hanger on it. So I'm going to use the hanger as one place to attach it. And then I'm going to put a mounting square at the bottom. Maybe. Where is my bucket with? Bonnie, maybe, I don't know. I didn't have anything to do with that. That was all Parker. 
So that's why I said refer back to the coaching group, read the post, see what you have to do. All right, so that was super glue. Gonna just peel the little sticker, put on our mounting square. Heather, you're welcome for the birthday text. All right, get that snipped in half. So what is the slinky for? I don't have a slinky. What's the B number? MD0673. You've never glued your mouth before, should I? Uh, I only do it this way every single time. Uh, Phyllis earned free gifts at every single level. Hey, hey. All right, we're going to let that dry while we make a bow. All right, easy bow maker. We're gonna do about 12 inches. All right, give it a pinch. All right, we're gonna measure out about six and a half to seven inches. Both sides. This side we're gonna go with about an eight inch tail. This one is uh, super thick. Y'all, this wasn't in the supplies, but I think I'm gonna throw it in there. Give it a pinch. Y'all, I'm gonna say it one more time. I have nothing to do with any of the 6919 wait list. You can find the post or you can contact customer service. I don't have any answers. All right. Give that one a good twist. Y'all, and I'm using different sizes at different points in the bow.
you love the four inch it really is a nice uh it's double sided so the front is black and white and then the underside is bright yellow what is my favorite scissors uh the ones that i picked out so we sell those on deco exchange Nice little twist. Little twist. Tanya, you're late. That is unacceptable, friend. I'm just kidding. Best scissors that you own. I do love the scissors, for sure. Lynn, your cat hit an angry face. That's all right. Cats are wild. All of the ribbons are wired. Yep. Uh, we only sell wired ribbon. Well, that's not true because we sell well it may show up as ribbon so let me just say it and show it real quick there is a four inch mesh that sometimes is described as ribbon um so if you buy this, it's not wired, but all of the actual ribbon is wired. Melissa, you scarred your finger with our scissors. That does not sound like a good idea. All right, one little loop there to solve our problems. Y'all, we also have our 20-inch pipe cleaners back in stock, which makes me happy. I may have hoarded, like, 20 bags of each. Slide this one off. What's the skew for the double-sided ribbon? It looks like RGX00178N. All right, we're gonna give it a good squeeze and a good twist. Now look, whenever you tweeze Tweeze, that's what we should just call it. Twist and squeeze. Tweeze. Whenever you tweeze your bow, uh, if the loops don't pop up, it wasn't tight enough. Okay? During the tweeze, if it don't pop, it ain't tight enough. Uh, it is a lemon ribbon, yes. Y'all, I have to grab the rest of my water because... been blessed with the orders the last few weeks non-stop that is a blessing for sure you was calling a squist
Yo, I think I'm gonna make it where our bee is flying into the bow instead of out. Uh, the blue chair will be Sunday. I've made a post in the group and the group voted on when we would do it. All right, just wrapping that pipe cleaner right around the frame. The bee is super cute. I really like the wings and the polka dots. All right, so our bee is there. Our bow is gonna be right down here. Whitney is a first time viewer. Whitney, glad to have you. Who else is a first time viewer? Let us know. Uh, if it's your first time here, you should know that uh, people will clap, I will clap back. Uh, I'm a little bit snarky, I like to cuss a little bit. But if you stick around, I'll help you make a lot of money. All right, we're gonna tie this off, twist it off. Tie off your pipe cleaner. Let me grab, do I want to add in, let me grab the rest of my stuff. Let's fluff this out. Do you usually only use four ribbons for a bow? No. I didn't just use four here either if you're thinking I did. All right, y'all, this is a lemon spray. Uh, I don't think we have any more of these in stock, but if we do, it is 62218. Y'all, I'm going to leave this whole long stem because I want to add it somewhere right in to the frame, and then I'm going to use that stem to zip tie it around the base all right see how it's like sticking out sideways so where it hit first i'm gonna take a zip tie and zip tie it there
All right. Then I'm gonna bend that stem just with the curve of the frame and just zip tie it again later. You ordered the four inch ribbon? I don't blame you, it is so pretty. All right, then coming out this way, I'm just gonna find some pieces of the frame, like the twist ties, and just wrap them right around. to hold our lemon spray in place. You've never seen me do one like this before? Uh, I normally do stuff like this in the coaching group. Normally I stick to the same uh, designs and patterns on the free page. Do you sell to the public or wholesalers? So we sell wholesale at decoexchange.fair.com. We sell to the public at decoexchange.com. All right, so this one came out this way. Now I'm going to come out on this side with the other one. You guys are loving your stem cutters. The stem cutter is definitely a good tool. What was the wholesale again? DecoExchange.fair, F-A-I-R-E dot com. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side as we did over there. We're gonna put our stem up underneath our bow. You thought about me when you were on going to brunch at Luke's on St. Charles? Ashanta, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I've been here for, um, I've been in the New Orleans area since 2017. And I've gone into the city. Well, not even the city. I've gone, <laughs> gone to the aquarium once, gone to the zoo once. Uh, I've been to Bourbon Street twice. Once was for Wreath Makers Live. And that's it. Uh, I'm not a New Orleans person. Parker, everyone is asking about the 60919 and I don't have any answers. I thought you posted it in the group. They said you posted it on the page. So I'm glad that you're here. Y'all, he's right there. Ask him all the questions. Regina said I've been dabbling in wreath making. I paint door hangers and wreath attachments. <clears throat> Why not? Then you can show people how to um, use your wreath attachments. Make sure you realize that your small wreath is very cheap looking. That's okay. Uh, 
listen, your wreath, if you love it or your customers love it, your wreath is perfect. Elizabeth, if you log in to the Creative Coaching Group into the membership portal, we have over 600 different tutorials. Uh, we talk about all the different ways that you can do mesh. Everything that you need to know is right there. All right, y'all, we're gonna take these lemons and go right out this way. Where am I originally from and why did I move here? I'm originally from Lake Charles, which is just the other side of the state. And I moved here for my job in the oil and gas industry. All right, so y'all see how uh, his little butt is going down and his head is coming out. I am going to untie his head of course I got him all good and tangled All right, so all I'm doing is pulling that one pipe cleaner down a little bit tighter. Am I gonna sell that wreath? Yes, of course. I should keep this one for me. Bees aren't really my thing. Glory, you sold two wreaths and one arrangement finally. Awesome. Your nephew drove up in his Tesla today. You thought of Parker. Parker was ready for a new Tesla already. And I drove Parker's Tesla for the first time the other day because he parked behind me and then he left with Derica. And then I thought, maybe I need a Tesla. Maybe I should trade my Escalade in for a little Tesla. Do I ever make wreaths for myself? Uh, every season I make wreaths for myself, but my door always has a wreath on it. All right. Y'all, this last one, I'm gonna cut into smaller pieces. I'm cutting that one into smaller pieces because I only have one and I want to get a little bit of that greenery down here. You saw the new Top Gun movie today? I didn't even know there was a new Top Gun. Evidently, they have a new Top Gun movie, and they have uh, a new Jurassic Park. Like, how many times can those dinosaurs kill everybody? All right, so you can see, like, I just want to get a little bit of those lemons out the opposite directions.
Sounds like we got some sirens going on in the neighborhood. That's some interesting, that must be a fire, huh? Top Gun was a great movie, she said. Y'all, in where I can, I'm just using the twist ties to hold it in place. Deanna, I watched The Walking Dead and I watched The Game of Thrones. That's all I have time for. Now they're both over. As far as I'm concerned, we can turn off our cable. All right, I think I'm gonna put this last one right up here. No, I don't like that. not a fan. I'm going to put it down here. Nope. I'm just going to keep looking around until I find a spot that I like for it. The House of Dragons starts in August. Yeah, but I doubt it's gonna be. That's good. You missed the Memorial Day gifts we offered? I'm sorry. Let's trim up this bow while we can still see it. Now you guys know why I had lemon ribbon. Well, Sharon, that's interesting. Don't you love people? Okay, so funny story. I did not tell the girls, and when I say the girls, I mean the girls in the print room, that I was doing those five sign packs as a giveaway. Like, we hadn't even designed the signs yet. So whenever they walked in to all those orders, they were like, uh, what just happened? Cause then they had to do, I think it was like 88 packs of the five signs on top of all of their other orders for the day. So they, they weren't real, real happy with me on, uh, Friday. And of course it was Friday before the weekend. All right.
Did I feel some cussing? I listen. I bought them dinner. And I think I even bought them lunch. Yo, I don't know if I want to use these flowers or not. Housewives of Dubai? I'm not a housewives kind of person. I wouldn't want Parker to get any ideas. Yeah, uh, monthly boxes did start actually shipping on Friday. I thought they were just gonna pack them and then put them off to the side until like Wednesday or Thursday. And then boxes already started going out. So, so on uh, Monday, they're gonna pack the deluxe subscription boxes and ship all of those out. I was like, since we're actually ahead of schedule, we should ship out the deluxe boxes first. I don't think I like the flowers on here. For one, I only have three, so it's gonna look like a weird triangle. I would need at least five for me to like that. Unless I just use one down in the center. What's a deluxe box? Uh, it is the regular weed supply box plus the uh, custom monthly signs that we ship out. Y'all, I might just use one of these flowers right here in the center of my bow. box was shipped today. No one worked today besides me. And I didn't do any shipping. Now it's potential that uh, the post office picked it up yesterday and then they just did the scan today. So I worked that flower down the center and then zip tied it to the frame. I didn't want to cut it because I don't know if I'm going to like it. But this allows me to look at it before making a decision. You love the flower in there? I'm gonna see if I can get some of the ribbon to poke out a little bit more. Tanya, have fun at the beach. What beach are you at, girl? Y'all, did y'all see that Tammy went to the beach and then there was just seaweed all week? Y'all, that is like typical Tammy luck, right?
All right, so instead of making the flower uh, extremely flat, I'm gonna go ahead and fold the petals up a little bit so it looks more like a cupped center. Stop. Don't tell me how to live. All right. Hey, hey, Becky. All right, let's cut some ribbon tails. I don't know how many we're gonna need, so I'm gonna do about nine at 12 inches. Nine. You've seen so many bee wreaths and thought, who likes this? Uh, I will tell you that bee wreaths are super popular. And there's a whole lot of people that really, really like uh, bee things. They're also really easy to target on social media. So they also tend to shop. All right, don't tell that one. Dove tell this one. Yo, I'm gonna use this little uh, seven eight. What did I do with the starch? Nothing yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like I should have said, have a nice day to that person. If you know, you know. You spent five days in the French Quarter, you had an awesome time. That's awesome, I would not do that. <laughs> I can't spend five hours in the French Quarter. Y'all, I don't, uh, I don't drink, so I don't enjoy drunk people. So whenever I go to the French Quarter, uh, I like to go look at the artists on Jackson Square. I like to um, like buy art out there from the street artists. I like to grab um, some beignets at Cafe Du Monde, and I like to go to the aquarium. As far as, you know, the people and the live music and the fake Louisiana food, it ain't for me. All right, I'm going to take one of our one and a half inch strips, one of our seven eighths, give it a good fold over. Uh, my opinion is people who love the French Quarter love the French Quarter and you can't convince them otherwise. And that's okay. Um, I personally don't enjoy it, 
there's a lot of drunk people. I don't enjoy drunk people. As a sober person around drunk people, it's no fun. It's not my thing. All right. Going to add these randomly throughout. Am I in Baton Rouge? I am not. What is my thing? Uh, listen, I can hang out with, you know, 1,200 people on my live video and I can be super friendly and all the fun things. But y'all, whenever the camera's off, I like to not talk, work on the business, eat good food, and that's it. Like I'm not, I'm not a people person, y'all. Jessica, did you see the TikTok I made today? Joy, if you've never experienced the French Quarter, you should definitely do it. Um, it's one of those things that you won't experience anywhere else. There's nowhere else that you can get a whiff of amazing food and urine at the same time. Play with our dogs. Our dogs don't even play, really. Rue likes to sleep all the time. And the other dogs are just grouchy. Like, you can, like, walk by and smell, like, freshly fried bread. And then you're in. You know? You won't experience it anywhere else. But there really are some fun places. You have to experience Jackson Square. You have to go down to the French Market. Um, there's lots of good things in New Orleans for sure. You just won't find me there. You deleted TikTok? Jessica, I also posted on our Facebook page today. Uh, what did it say? I was making doormats this morning. And the doormat said... Something about dogs welcome, kids must be on a leash. And I was like, I bet El Paso makes that rule. The World War II Museum. I've never even been to the World War II Museum. Debbie, absolutely. Like, there's nothing else like Jackson Square. Like, uh, there are street artists out there that are making art, like, painting full blown huge pieces of art right in front of you. And you can buy them right there, right off the fence.
Y'all, I'm just adding little uh, spots of ribbon tails every once in a while. Y'all, I have a lot of different uh, art from the French Mark, uh, from Jackson Square. Y'all, so yesterday, one of our girls that works with us, one of her mom works with us, uh, her son really likes me. Um, so we went to his birthday party. And, okay, we showed up five minutes into the party. No, we were five minutes before the party started. And they had already spilt three drinks and moved a table of, like, 20 chairs from inside to the porch where they once again spilt more stuff. I was like, uh, waiter, I will take the bill because you're going to need special care after this. You went to uh, see the voodoo shop? Now listen, don't get me wrong. Whenever I was in high school, uh, we went to an Alicia Keys concert at a little theater. Uh, there was like maybe 400 people in the whole concert. Um, and then after we went out into New Orleans, we did the voodoo tour and we toured the graveyards and we did a lot of the historical stuff there. And it was amazing. It was fun. But it's not one of those things that I need to go to over and over again. So that's why I say, like, if you've never experienced it, you should definitely go. It's unlike anything else. The history, the food, the smells. Mainly the smells. Darlene, you don't need to see my face. You need to be watching the reef. Is the top of Mark still there? I don't even know what that is. The wreath is definitely thick. You feel bad for those poor worn out carriage horses down there? I'm pretty sure the carriage horses are very well taken care of. Rosie, the cup is funny for sure. All right, let's look at what we have so far. You guys can't even see it. Your stomach can't handle the smells anymore. Now, I grabbed this one. Mainly because the little white flowers here reminded me of the little white flowers that were on the lemons. But I didn't even turn on the glue pot, so... I mean the glue, or any glue. I was going to say glue gun, but. All right, so I cut these kind of long because I'm gonna need to tuck them in, then use a twist tie to secure it. Mm. 
Normally I would have cut these in half. And then not wasted so much of the stem, but you know, do what you gotta do. Someone told me that I should uh, rent a house in Utah because there's a lot of Mormons and they have large properties for my mastermind people. I think I'm going to pass on that and keep going to the beach. Okay, now on the back side, it looks a little messy because those florals are going so far through. So we're gonna have to, uh, like this one for example, right here, we're gonna wanna do something with that and not just leave it all looking funky. Kim, if you have a wreath that hasn't sold, you can always just spruce it up, take a few new photos, and then hit that relisting to give a little boost in the face in the uh, Etsy world. Yuck, Penny. Use more words. All right. Gonna get a few of these little flowers right up here in the center. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do to it. Hey, Anita. All right, so we did that wreath tonight. We did uh, 10 inch poofs around the inner ring. Then we did 28 inch ruffles around the bottom, 18 inch ruffles on the top. We added um, a metal B. We made a giant bow, added that in there, added three lemon stems, put in a few tails, threw in some greenery, and called it a day. Before we did that, we fixed this little one. And the price is, I have to add up all the supplies.
It's a fun little patriotic door hanger uh, that says everybody is welcome here except Amber H. Nobody got time for that. All right. Y'all, that's it for tonight. I am going to go do some fun work over there. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right. You guys have a good night. Bye, y'all.